five main branches of the military, including the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. <laughs> the Army is the main ground force, the largest branch of the military. The Army's job is to control and fight on land using land troops, tanks, and artillery. The Army is considered the oldest branch of the military. The Continental Army was established during the Revolution War in 1775. Their Air Force is a part of the military that fights using aircraft, including fire planes and bombers. The Air Force was a part of the Army up until 1947 when it was made into its own branch. The Air Force is also responsible for military satellites in space. The Marines are responsible for delivering test forces on land, at sea, and in the air. The Marines work closely with the Navy and Air Force as America's expedition, expeditionary force in readiness the USA Marines are forward deployed in an effort to win battles swiftly and aggressively in times of crisis. The Navy fights in the oceans and the seas throughout the world. The Navy uses all sorts of battleships, including destroyers, aircraft carriers, and submarines. The U.S. Navy is significantly larger than any other Navy in the world and is armed with 10 of the world's 20 aircraft carriers. The Coast Guard is separate from the other branches, as it is part of the Department of Homeland Security. The Coast Guard is the smallest of the military branches. It monitors the U.S. coastline and enforces border walls, as well as helps with ocean rescues. The Coast Guard can become part of the Navy during times of war. Thank you for your service. 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 Good afternoon. Freedom's call is demanding and it asks much. At times, it demands all from our armed service members who serve their country. One way that we honor that demanding call and the sacrifice of those that answer the call is the setting of the missing man table. This table is set to remember our POWs or prisoners of war and MIAs, those missing in action. It also serves to help us remember all of those service members who have not returned. We take time now to honor these individuals. The table is round to symbolize our everlasting concern. The cloth is white to symbolize the purity of their motives while serving that call. A single red rose serves to remind us of the blood that was shed and the lives lost in the service. It also represents the family and friends that kept the faith during their absence, awaiting their return. A yellow ribbon for those wearing the yellow ribbon of remembrance and for those who never forget. A slice of lemon to symbolize the bitterness of our loss. A portion of salt as a reminder of the tears shed. A lighted candle that reflects our ongoing hope and to light their way back home. An upside down glass, for they cannot share a toast with us. The chair is empty. Our companion, our family member, is no longer present. When Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner over 200 years ago, he called America the land of the free and the home of the brave. Those words are as true today as they were then. Throughout this nation's history, America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardmen have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our friends and allies, and to turn back aggressors. Today is our privilege to say thank you to all of America's veterans to let them know that we appreciate them for their service and honor them for their sacrifices. As a token of our gratitude, the fifth grade students of Swain East Elementary proudly present to you H is for Honor, a Military Family Alphabet by David Gilliam. We hope you enjoy. Give me an A for Army and an A for Air Force Two and an A for the uh, Armed Services behind me, red, white, and blue. They stand at attention, tall and proud, all impeccably dressed, and an A for the American Armed Forces 
and an A for the world's very best. No offense, but the letter B means that you're a brat. Your brother and your sister too, and there's nothing wrong with that. Military kids are known as brats, but far from wild or bad. They serve in their own country just like their mom or dad. Any Marine will tell you the letter C should stand for core. It takes courage and character, it takes commitment and more. From Camp Lejeune to Pendleton, the Marine Corps stands by, ready to go wherever they're called, true to Semper Fi. Don't you dare dally, and don't be late. Stay at attention, run around straight. D is a drill, sergeant, making things rough. You'll thank them someday for being so tough. The Navy SEALs, the Green Berets, the Army Rangers, of course. Special Tactics, MEUs, and the Daring Delta Force. E is for the Elite Force, they're trained with extra care. They know too well when duty calls, danger may be there. Behind each sailor, behind each soldier, someone somewhere cares. Behind each airman, coasty marine, someone is saying their prayers. Wherever Americans fight for freedom, they very quickly learn. F is for the families, first and foremost, who wait for their return. G is just a game, just a game, you say. Those in the Army and Navy don't quite see it that way. The Army-Navy football game is a November celebration of the honor and spirit of those who choose to serve their mighty nation. Not everyone hears it, it's just a few, but there's no denying it once you do. When your country calls, you do your part, so age is for honor in the American heart. You're visiting HQ to see the CO. You're surrounded by several officials. You're also surrounded by so many letters. That's why I is for initials. R and RTDY, and I at the BOQ, and when you're hungry, it's good to know an MRE will do. The letter J is just the thing to get from here to there. Here's one racing down the road, and there's another up in the air. Jeeps and jets take different routes, but both of them help prove the military can't keep still. It's always on the move. Pucker up for the letter K for a kiss of fabulous flair. Captured in a famous photo in a corner in Times Square, a happy sailor and a happy gal have learned the war was done. A sweeping kiss captured the joy when World War II was won. Miles from home, too hot or too cold, lonely for months on end. L arrives in a big green sack, it's the letters that you send. The leaves are turning, the farm is fine, the puppy keeps chasing his tail. There's nothing better than getting a letter from home in the bag of mail. The letter N means military police, better known as MPs. When you live on post or a military base, you'll need a few of these. They guard the base and keep it as secure as it can be. When you first arrive at the entrance gate, MPs are the first you see. Up in the air in a fighter jet, or down in the deep in a submarine. Above the ocean, beneath the sea, and everywhere in between. We're riding the tide, deep, deep blue and green, constantly churning and wavy on ships very small and impossibly large. Our N stands for Navy. Military families tend to move across nation states and borders. The letter O means pack your bags for you just got your orders. Two years here, three years there, your family's on the go. Your orders mean a brand new part of the world for you to know. Our letter P will make you proud and cause a little commotion. Here's a hug and a handshake too for peace for promotion. To move along one rank to the next takes drive and dedication. So each and every promotion is a cause for celebration. If someone asks you about your quarters, I know it may sound funny, but they'd like to know about your home, not about your money. Q stands for quarters, which means your house, perhaps on government land. Uncle Sam provides you with quarters, but they won't fit in your hand. Rise and shine for the letter R. Early every day, R is a sign of revelry, heard from miles away. We raise the flag as the bugler plays with the rising of the sun. He'll play retreat to lower the flag later when day is done. Sometimes the job is far away. Sometimes it's for so long. Sometimes a, a war is being fought and we're asked to be strong. So strong. S stands for sacrifice in the special American way of doing what's right for freedom's light to shine on the USA. Whether on a Coast Guard ship or in an Air Force jet or in an Army tank or a Navy sub, 
can certainly bet that you'll see people work together, busy as they can be. I think that you'll find too much success to ET. From Army Green to Desert Brown, from White to Navy Blue, our U stands for uniform, graceful, proud, and true. From a Marine's dress blues to a soldier's fatigues, on this we can agree, the uniform of the USA is a symbol of being free. The year reminds us of all those who marched the past before. Veterans are bound by the gift of service through times of peace and war. Old and young faces saluting to the flag that waves in the sky above. All were willing to give their lives for the country that they love. For many years, if you saw a soldier, you were looking at a he. But times have changed, and now that soldier might just be a she. So W is for women, defending our nation and lives. They're all American mothers, sisters, daughters, and wives. The letter X stands for exchange, is where you'll want to stop. When you live on base or you live on post, you'll need a place to shop. And exchange is a kind of department store with goods from near and far. It's a PX to some and a BX to others, depending on where you are. Why is the reason they do the things they do? They put their lives on the line to do it all for you. For you to live a life that's free in a nation proud and strong, be glad there are those who go to work taking your dreams along. Z can stand for Zulu, but as odd as that may sound, Zulu sometimes stands for Z. It's the other way around. Zulu for Z, Alpha for A, Oscar for and Oscar for O, the military needs a special word to talk on the radio. To all those who have served and all who continue to serve, thank, thank you. you.
A veteran is a person who has served in the military for one of the five branches. They can work for Army, Coast Guard, Navy, Air Force, or Marines. We are so thankful, thankful for, for our veterans. We celebrate Veterans Day to honor the people that served in the military and sacrificed for our country. We celebrate Veterans Day to honor and thank all the veterans that served in the military. Because they are brave and are willing to sacrifice their lives for mine. They saved our country and fought for our freedom. Thank you, veterans. Look what I can't speak.